If you love the Eco River 2, then you're gonna love the River 3. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We have an exciting new EcoFlow product. It is sitting inside this box and I'm actually really, really excited to get my first hand look at this product and share it with you guys. A lot of people complain that I babble too much. We're gonna jump right into the unboxing of the EcoFlow River 3. So first off, the packaging for this not a lot to say about it. It's a cardboard box. It says EcoFlow in the front and there's a black and cardboard colored graphic there. Turning it around, we do have all the appropriate warning labels because this is a battery product. It's a class nine and they need to include that with all the shipping info and a little bit of details about what's inside this box. But you guys don't need to be able to read what's inside the box because I'm gonna show you right now what's inside this box. So we'll just pop, pull this says it's a quick start guide and we have an EcoFlow scannable QR code with more instructions. Holy crap! I don't know if you guys can see this but these are the instructions. Now I can't read that so if I hold it right about there I could read it but anything that I need to get my glasses out for typically I don't read. I'm gonna assume I'll be able to figure out what I need to know just by playing with this and referencing my cheat sheet right over here, which you guys are not gonna know that I'm referencing because we're so good at editing this video together. But we can pull this guy out, because that's what you came here for. And that's it, there's this box here. We'll see what's inside this little box. Oh, okay, okay, that's actually kind of exciting. For me anyway, I don't know if it is for you. We got a power cord right there. We got some silica beads and an empty box. And this guy, which I'm excited about because I, you can never have enough of these. This is your standard high speed charger cable that will plug into the cigarette plug on pretty much any vehicle that you might have. And it charges this. This works with pretty much all EcoFlow products as well as non EcoFlow products. So if you have your own battery generator system that is not an EcoFlow, chances are this is going to work on that. So it's you know, it's an extra bonus for those of you who haven't fully committed to the EcoFlow ecosystem yet. But at the end of this review, you might be a believer. And you might be looking to kind of swap up what your setup is to include a River 3 and maybe some other EcoFlow products. Now there is a standard charger cable which plugs into your regular 120 volt outlet if you're here in North America like I am. If you're overseas, they would come with a plug-in that suits your country as well. That's kind of everything that's in the box. There's not a lot. So let's focus on the build quality of the EcoFlow River 3 and just kind of walk through the outside of it before we talk about the specific features. Now, first off, this is the first time I'm touching this in my hands. It feels substantial enough. It's pretty light. It's quite portable. I mean, that's the whole design idea of this is that it is light and portable overall looks okay keeps the standard EcoFlow kind of aesthetic to it and on the other side another fan but also the flip open charger bay which has your 120 volt charge and your DC charge that could be DC uh, cigarette plug it could be DC solar panel or it could be DC anything else that you can find that's got DC power really you could hook it up to a bicycle that has a little generator on it and charge it with that so uh, lots of options on there gams go are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? Gamsgo has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, Gamsgo is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use Gamsgo for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to Gamsgo. Switching to Gamsgo is as easy as clicking the link in the description or up in the title card, which will take you to the main Gamsgo website, select the services that you're looking for, and buy them. But to show you how easy it is, we're gonna take 30 seconds and we're gonna sign up for Netflix. So we've clicked the affiliate link and I'm gonna click purchase now on Netflix. Now we have an option to buy three months or six months. I'm gonna buy a six month membership 
I'm going to say activate auto renewal because you don't want to miss out anyway. Now, in my case, I only need one profile. That means that I get one of the five included shared profiles with my Netflix account and I can install it on one device in my home. Do you have multiple devices in your home? You might want to switch to the five profiles option which also unlocks multiple devices so that you can use all of your profiles across multiple devices. But in my case, one profile is plenty. Now this is the most important step. It's gonna say, do you have a promo code? Yes, I do. And the promo code is GEARS. We're gonna apply our promo code and it's gonna say, this is a valid promo code. We're gonna click to go to payment and then we're gonna enter in all of our details. This is a one-time payment of just $21.26. That is crazy cheap for premium Netflix on one device with one profile. I'm going to pay now. I'm gonna enter my credit card information and that's it. Once you've paid, you get immediate access to Netflix and it's as simple as logging into your Gamsgo account, getting the username and pass key, and then going to legit Netflix. Now it's gonna immediately say, well, who is this? Now I am account number three, Gears and Tech. And it's gonna ask for my pin code because I locked this down. Once I have my pin code in, now instantly I am in the full premium Netflix experience. This gives me HD Netflix, I can download it, and it's that simple. And it works the same on all your other favorite streaming platforms. This is truly an amazing deal, you don't wanna miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. Moving around to the front, we have a flip down, or flip up, flip up, cigarette plug adapter. We've also got USB port for USB-A, USB-C, and USB-A. We also have a uh, regular 120 volt power inverter. This time we have two options here, the one that has the grounded plug and the one without the grounded plug. That's pretty much the build quality of the River 3, but what even is the River 3. EcoFlow's slogan for the River 3 is, take a small step into strong power. This is the industry's most cost-effective entry-level power station known as the River 3. It's a compact, highly efficient, portable power station and an ideal option for outdoor adventures. Now that we know what it is, what are the key features of the River 3? This is a compact power station, but most small power stations suffer from very low run times. Using GAN technology, now GAN stands for gallium nitride. That means that the silicone chips in here dissipate heat and handle heat in a much more efficient way than traditional circuit boards, and it allows it to fit everything in a much smaller package while still providing all of the power that you're used to having. So it provides up to 15 hours longer runtime for 100 watt appliances like Wi-Fi routers, lights, fans, and air pumps. What does that mean in the real world? Well, this can provide up to 95% more power than a similarly built 300 watt inverter that does not use GAN technology. So this is an exciting new field for EcoFlow to step into and a lot of others are probably gonna follow suit, but right now your options are really limited when you're looking for big, big power in such a small device like the River 3. They've spent a lot of time focusing on the dimensions. They wanted it to be as small as possible while still maximizing that power. 300 watts was kind of what they settled on, so this does deliver up to 300 watts of nominal power through the AC outlets there. It's so small it fits easily in your storage compartment, in your vehicle, under the seat perhaps, or somewhere where it's easily accessible. In my case, I'm gonna have this plugged in so it's always charging, always ready to go. And then anytime I need 300 watts of power to power really most basic appliances, this will jump to the task. Now I will do a better review of the actual usage of this because I'm about to do a road trip, which includes running satellite internet and a number of other peripherals, which I think this would be perfect for. So stay tuned for that if you want to follow along on our journey exploring this River 3. It does feature UPS switching and it does it within 20 milliseconds. And what that means is you can actually have this plugged into your house socket just using this cord right here and then plug your appliance into here. Now it's gonna draw the power from the house under normal circumstances. But when the power goes out, 
this will instantly switch over to battery power and it will continue to power that appliance while the power is out. And when the power is restored, it will also continue to power that appliance while it recharges the battery so it's ready for the next power outage. This is a great way to absorb uh, inefficiencies in your electricity, brownouts, that sort of thing for critical equipment. Now, when I say critical equipment, this is not going to run a full-size fridge. It won't run an air conditioner and it won't run a freezer. But when I'm talking about critical equipment, it will run a Wi-Fi router. It will run telephone. It will run any kind of emergency backup equipment that is not kind of that bigger industrial stuff. Now, is a Wi-Fi router really critical equipment? Well, obviously, how else are you going to watch your favorite YouTube channel if you don't have the Wi-Fi on? Well, this would solve that problem, obviously. Now, this is packed with what they call X quiet technology. And what that means is the sound that comes out of here is less than 30 decibels. So that is ultra, ultra quiet. How quiet is 30 decibels? I am talking right now at way more than 30 decibels, probably 50 or 60. So this is whisper quiet. I will plug it in in a minute and we'll see how loud it actually is while it's turned on. I'm thinking you won't be able to hear it, but we'll, we'll compare. We'll compare and find out. When you do run the power low on this, it can recharge in one hour or less using a technology called Xtreme. Basically, that is EcoFlow implementing the same recharge techniques that automotive manufacturers are doing to recharge your electric car quickly. They're doing that with the EcoFlow River 3 to pump as much power back into it as quickly as possible without overheating the circuitry or the batteries and keeping everybody safe, but getting you guys back up and running as quick as possible. Let's look more closely at the actual ports here. What are they capable of and how well do they work? There are a total of two AC ports which support 300 watts of nominal power and utilizing X-Boost will support up to 600 watts of power for short bursts of time. That would be handy for handling inrush currents and stuff. Like for example, if you're trying to run a drill, when a drill first starts, it goes zzzz, the lights all dim normally, that is the inrush current and that will provide up to 600 watts of power real quickly, but then it'll need to settle out to the 300 watts before you overload the circuitry inside of here. It has two USB-A ports that will support up to 12 watts of max power per port for a total of 24 watts. This is handy for charging your cellular phone or any other USB powered device that you might have. You can run a security camera on it if you really wanted to. So like you've got your Wi-Fi router plugged into the AC port, you can run your security camera off of the USB port and run a full remote security setup if, if that's what you were into. Don't forget about the USB-C port. Now that supports up to 100 watts of output power. And I'm gonna actually test that out by charging my laptop that's been here with my cheat sheets on it so that we can see how much power it actually does provide because this laptop will take up to 100 watts of power if you'll give it to it. So we'll see if we can max this thing out once we turn this on. And then lastly over here, there is the car port. It'll do up to 126 watts at 12.6 volts, which is your typical battery voltage on here. Now car generally gives a little bit more power than that, but 12.6 is a regulated down power output for most devices to get supported when you're using that cigarette plug. What are your recharge options? Well, we talked about AC power. It'll take about 300 watts to charge and it does that in about 60 minutes from zero to 100%. It also supports solar recharging using the same port that this plug is using. It will handle 110 watts input and it takes about 2.6 hours. This does also integrate into the EcoFlow app, which we've shown you guys in different videos, but this one will connect up to the app and show you all the relevant information on the app. You can turn it on and off, cycle it, tell it to recharge, do all kinds of things within that app if you didn't want to just use the main uh, buttons down here, which is especially handy if you've got this tucked under a seat in your car, you can have it plugged in and charging and still be able to toggle things on and off at will without having to get this thing out. Now that we've covered everything, let's turn it on for the first time and then get it plugged into my laptop. All right, first time powering it on. I haven't even charged it, so hopefully it comes with a charge. There we go. Turning on. Uh, just a regular looking screen. It says we've got 
30% battery, which will currently provide 25 hours of power, but that's because we're not actually taking any power out of here. So to help us do that, I'm going to plug in this USB-C cord here. Now this says it'll do up to 100 watts of charging power. So when I plug it into this guy here, let's see. Now this has an output meter on it and it says we're currently pulling 50 Six fifty-eight watts of power coming out of here. And if I look at my laptop, my laptop does say that it's charging. So it's settled out at about 57 watts. So that's mostly because my laptop's probably not trying to pull full power out of here right now because it's not really working very hard. My laptop says that it's going to charge in about 33 minutes until fully recharged. Now, I can plug this in. Let's just see what happens when I plug it in. I have to say right now it's dead quiet. It's, I mean, I'm not pulling a lot of power out of it. So obviously it is quiet, but it's not making any noise at all. So let's plug that in and we'll plug that in. Now we should see some input power going here. There we go. 99 watts, 116, 133, 161, 74, 200 watts. Now it says it's going to pull about 300 watts, so it's going to just keep pulling a little bit at a time until it decides that it's got enough wattage. And interestingly enough, it says time, recharge time, 55 minutes. There it's sitting at 306 watts, 310. It's still climbing. There now it's kind of settled at around 318 watts input, and it says it's going to take about 54 minutes. Now, why 54 minutes when we already said it will recharge in one hour? It will recharge in one hour with no draw on it. Currently, I'm feeding 60 watts to my laptop and I'm only pulling 300 watts in. So 60 of those 300 watts are still just going to power the laptop. So it's not getting full power for a recharge and that's why it's going to take a little bit longer. And that is everything you need to know on the surface about the EcoFlow River 3. If you have more questions, certainly post those in the comments because I'd love to answer those for you in another video. We can explore it in different ways that interest you guys the most. We have some ideas for ourselves, so this will certainly pop up in future videos. If you've already decided the River 3 is the battery generator for you, I will put links in the description. Don't forget to check out our our discount code, which is included, and it works great for any of your EcoFlow purchases. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video, and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.